So you guys know I've been using the iPhone 10 for a little while. I'm gonna reserve some of my feedback for uh, an upcoming video after I've been using it for at least a week, but something has been making the headlines this morning. I've been on the tech websites and I've learned about this app that aims to get rid of the notch on the iPhone 10. The controversial notch that everyone's talking about. Is this interesting? Is this something you should go and download? Especially since they're charging money for the app. So this is the app right here. It's called Notch Remover. Get an idea from that image there of what it's gonna look like when you get rid of it. It starts to look kind of like a Galaxy S8, to be honest. I'll show you here how it looks with a couple different wallpapers. So I'll head over there and open it up. You know, me and the other guys, we, we've looked at it and we're like, you know what, it doesn't, the iPhone doesn't look that bad with the black bar at the top. I could see some people preferring this had Apple just come out with a device like that. I don't know though, uh, maybe there's some notch lovers. Maybe you're a notch lover, but this app will take your stock wallpaper and throw that notch in there. Now, if you just kind of glanced at these articles and downloaded the app, you might have thought that the notch was gonna be gone everywhere, but they've just used a kind of weird little hack here to remove the notch from the phone by attaching it to a wallpaper. And also, just in general, the app's kind of not that good. Like, I'm looking at this, I'm like, okay, that looks good, save. And then, what did it do? It saved it, where did it save it? What it's actually doing is saving it to the camera roll. You can select any image. What you can't do is you can't go to your wallpapers, download the wallpaper separately, but Anyways, if I go ahead and just select one of these images here and then hit save, it now takes this stock iPhone 10 background, essentially removes the notch. But of course, what it's really doing is filling in the notch. It's creating this black outline on each side of the notch. That's what your stock setup looks like, notched out. If I go to my wallpapers here and select the newly created image from the app, you can scale it to right where you think it fits in, kind of somewhere around there. Then I'm gonna set it, set to both. And when I get back out, look at that! The notch is dead! Kaboom! Okay, so this is you, you're happy, the notch is gone, it's what you've always wanted, and you think you're off to the races, you think you just bought the, the greatest app ever if you're a notch hater, but then you go and you open an app, you open Safari, and then the notch comes screaming back in! <laughs> this app is Really, it's kind of strange. It's strange in the sense that it only does the thing it claims to do from within your main phone area here, which is, I don't know how frequent you're there. The surprising part here is the fact that this app even exists because in Apple's developer terms for the App Store, you're not supposed to have an app like this that attempts to hide the notch. But anything like this is supposed to be blocked and somehow this thing made it through. One cool aspect though is it kind of does a good job of displaying how great OLED displays are. If I hold this up to Jack over here, it's hard to distinguish where the screen starts and ends and the notch actually is just by filling in the display with black. Look at that. But the question is really for you guys. What do you think? When you see an iPhone like this, notch free, even though it's not permanently notch free, but instead just on the background here, do you kind of wish that Apple made this device? Like, do you wish this is how it looked instead? Or do you prefer the notch? Do you think that extra little bit of real estate up there is useful to you? Or, or is it aesthetically pleasing? So let me know in the comments if this is something you guys are gonna do. Does the notch bother you so much? You're gonna try to eliminate it with this particular app? Are you gonna spend the 99 cents? If so, I'll link the app down in the description, but in my opinion, I would save the 99 cents, get yourself a coffee, strike up a conversation with somebody at the coffee shop, and get over the notch. You'll learn to live with it, I think.